all right so hi jasmeet uh, hi santosh uh, i hope you guys can hear me very well right uh jasmeet and santosh can you uh, just uh, have a look at the chat window hello yeah hi uh, who is this this is so what i'll be doing i'll be on the speaking mode guys i hope just want to check with you you guys can hear me you uh, all of you can actually uh, chat across on the chat window if you see there is a chat window across can you hear me oh sorry i have done a private chat jasmeet santosh can you guys hear me Okay, just meet. You can hear me. That's great, Santosh. Can you also let me know? So we just begin in a while, guys. Guru Prasad, I believe you can also hear me, right? We we going to start our session in a while. This is all right. So this is going to be the very first session, guys, where we generally talk about. what exactly digital marketing patchala is all about what do we teach and in our overall curriculum okay you can read my message and you can uh, uh, you can read my message but can you hear me so i'm speaking can you uh, hear me santosh just give me a moment i'll
hi uh, guru guru prasad uh, jasmeet can you help me with your introductions guys please uh, before i begin uh, if you can type in the chat box please uh, what exactly is your background and where do you come from just want you to understand So Guru Prasad, you're from Bangalore, and Jasmeet, from which place are you? Okay, you're from uh, Khatiwala Tank. I'm not really sure which state is that. I'm just going to start the session and let you know what exactly we do, what sort of uh, things we provide in terms of digital marketing. So uh, where exactly, Jashmeet, which state uh, do you belong from? Just a second. Yeah, thanks. So we have uh, Santosh also joining in. Thank you so much uh, for joining in, Santosh. Uh, so we have Santosh, Guru Prasad, and Jasmeet. Santosh, can you also just help us with your introduction? Then I'll begin with my introduction and digital marketing part, Shala's introduction. If you can, uh, yeah, Guru Prasad, I know you have been attending, uh, uh, you have attended a couple of sessions before. That's right. And Jasmeet, what uh, state are you from? So the voice is cracking. Uh, the internet is working fine at my end, Guru Prasad. Might be uh, some problem at your end. All right, just let's let's try doing this again. So Santosh, can you help us with your introduction, please? Uh, okay. So Jashmeet, you're from Madhya Pradesh. Okay. Uh, thank you so much. Okay, Santosh, you are also from uh, Karnataka. That's good to know. And uh, which particular city are you from? You're from Balgaon. Okay, okay. Great. So let's get started. I'll just begin with my introduction, guys. Uh, thank you so much for your introduction. What exactly is your uh, understanding about uh, digital marketing? Uh, Guru Prasad has already told me. He will. He has just logged out and will log in today again. Uh, Santosh, if you can let me know what background are you from, and what's your understanding of digital marketing? Jasmeet, you did tell me that you are you have just completed your twelfth in math. But uh, what is your understanding about digital marketing? Can you help me know that? So you know nothing about it. Okay, no problem. And Santosh, what uh, 
profession are you in and your understanding about digital marketing please so santosh uh, says your mba marketing and you've taken basic trainings about digital marketing but it's only theory all right and from where exactly have you taken this training from any specific institute or something okay that was uh, a specific institute all right okay fine so let's uh, get started guys i'll just uh, start with my profile my name is nick batla thank you for uh, joining in today like i said my name is nick batla and i have been uh, into digital marketing profession for the past 15 years i am born and brought up out of delhi only and i was uh, i was actually in united states and canada for for the past 5 uh, years i have uh, recently shifted to india that's why my profile says toronto canada and i run a digital marketing agency an internet marketing agency by the name of yo creations so i'll start from the very beginning what exactly we mean by internet marketing guys uh, along with this particular agency which i own and run i cater to plenty of small and medium businesses uh, clients uh, in terms of meeting their internet marketing requirements so it's an agency only it's an online marketing agency which is based out of canada and uh, also we have operations in new delhi india uh, along with holding this particular agency i run this uh, th these trainings where i am telling you about uh, digital marketing patshala we at digital marketing patshala pro you know provide several courses and one of them being the digital marketing course altogether this is the course guys i hope you have seen the website altogether this is the website dmpatshala.com in case you visit this website on the uh, on the home page you have you can see the courses the, the very first course which is digital marketing course is the one for, for which i'm going to give you an overall brief in terms of uh, what exactly is this course about and what internet marketing is so you can also go ahead and download the course curriculum guys from here so like i said you can download the course curriculum uh, by clicking on this particular link it will take to you take you to another page just submit your details and uh, you can download the overall course curriculum stuff guys so uh, just submit across your details you will get the course curriculum i'll be using that same course curriculum uh to talk about the entire class right now to talk about the entire uh, not just the class i mean the entire program which uh, we would be delivering all right any questions you have in terms of the uh, brief i have given about myself and the trainings which we provide this particular course has got lot of modules when we say internet marketing there are many things which it comes under this we use internet for so many things we use internet for you know playing games for watching movies for watching videos for uh, you know either for finding uh, a lot of knowledge about different stuff so we do it for several things right guys we use internet for many things but with all that things if you see if you are already using facebook let's say do you guys uh, help me out in understanding do you see advertisements on the right hand side of the facebook have you seen that on the right hand side when you are using facebook do you see an advertisement right on over here right yes say santosh can i get a answer from each one of you jasmeet uh, and we have another person joining in by the name of ctpl can i know your name please uh, so that i can address you so i hope guru prasad jasmeet santosh all of you have seen this uh, seen the advertisements on these sites just to name you know uh, facebook is one of them then we have another other websites also where we you know where marketers go and create a lot of advertisements all right so you're creating uh, you're facing video lag all right i'll just make sure that uh, you don't face video lag now i'll be slow on that part gurprasad 
So, uh, hi. Uh, so, your name is CTPL. Can I get to know your uh, exact name, please? If you can, uh, your name is Naveen. All right, Naveen, can you give a small brief to each and everyone out here? So, we have uh, done the introduction part. I'll help you to understand. So, Santosh, we have Santosh from Belgaon, uh, Karnataka. He's into uh, already into the marketing profession. Then we have Jasmeet, who has just passed out from 12th. And she's from uh, Madhya Pradesh. Then we have Guru Prasad, who's working in the accounts division of uh, Infosys in Karnataka, Bangalore. And uh, so Naveen, if you can help us with your introduction as well. And then we have Prabha also, uh, who has joined in. So Prabha, if you, uh, Prabha and Naveen, guys, if you can help us with your introduction also, then I'll... In terms of what background are you from and which place are you from? So, uh, Naveen, you say you're from Say, you're in sales, and what part of India are you from, please? And Prabha, I believe you can also hear me. You're into software sales, okay. Right, Santosh and Guru, you guys can uh, definitely sort of network with each other. Guys, you can network. That's the reason why I do start with overall introduction. Hi, Prabha. Prabha, just let us know uh, what profession are you into and your understanding about digital marketing. Okay, so Naveen, you, you're from Lucknow and uh, Prabha, you say you're from, you're into customer service, all right, with which organization and which part of the India are you from? Okay, you're from... You're working for an e-commerce company from Delhi. And what e-commerce company is that? If you can help me know. Creative Gifting Solution. All right. Thank you so much for the lovely introduction, guys. I'll exp I'll introduce myself again. Probably some of you might have missed it. So my name is Nick Bartla, and I'm into digital marketing industry for the past 15 years. I am running my own online marketing agency, which is a Canadian-based internet marketing agency by the name of Yo Creations. I'm also part of Canadian Marketing Association, uh, American Marketing Association, and plenty of other you know, digital marketing uh, bodies which are there. Just to name, one of them is Market Motive. I have passed out from University of Toronto. Uh, I did my master's from there, and I've been uh, trainings for quite some time. Just give me a moment. my introduction guys and uh, let's I'll just tell you about what exactly digital marketing partshala is all about we are into trainings of internet marketing guys when it comes down to internet marketing there are many things which are which form a part of internet marketing some of you might be knowing I believe Guru Prasad and uh, Prabha you are also from the e-commerce division you might have some idea Santosh you are also into digital marketing division and uh, Naveen, I'm not really sure what's your understanding in terms of digital marketing, but I'll try to explain it from a, a beginner's level perspective. Why do we use internet? That's the first question which I want to explain to you. We use internet because there's a plenty of stuff available for us, whether it's for fun, entertainment, or for knowledge seeking. We use it for many, many stuff. Either we use search engines or we use emails or we use to uh, uh, we use uh, you know video sh sharing sites or you know sites where we can watch videos we do a lot of social uh, networking by using various websites like twitter or facebook these are some of them is there anything else which you guys can think of why do we use internet now just as a normal person since it's the first session that's why i'm taking the basics guys 
so it might uh, appear that uh, you know these are pretty basic stuff which i'm talking about can you guys think of any other thing besides search engines emails checking videos and uh, doing uh, social networking to buy things which is absolutely right uh, which is a kind of sort of an online shopping i can club that into what else can you think of guys so navin jasmeet prabha santosh can you think of any other activity which you use which you do over the internet as just a layman not as a marketer but just as a layman social awareness uh, give me an example like please like what sort of social awareness are we talking about for promotion okay give me an example what sort of promotion advertisement are we talking about so if we are a business owner then definitely uh, we would you we would be using internet for promotion and advertisement absolutely right santosh absolutely right prabha does that make sense to you jasmeet whatever we have spoken so far why do we use internet that is the question that is the only basic question if you are a student you might have been using internet for solving your uh, maybe your projects or you might have been using it for fun purpose for playing games or for watching videos movies listening to audio listening to songs and in case uh, if you look at from a business perspective guys which most of you have said that right prabha navin guru prasad that if you are looking at promoting a business you are a business owner or you are a marketer where you are helping any other business professional to promote their business on the internet that can be done events and things happening around us in order to promote that that's what navin says thank you so much yeah that's that's a right answer whenever we guys as a layman when we use internet let's say if i am using internet to buy something for doing online shopping or maybe to you know uh, do my let's say uh, complete a presentation for my client or for uh, you know submitting a project of mine if i am a student for whatever thing if i type in something let's say i want to buy i want to do shopping i say i write buy iphone 6 all right so when i type in this query when i'm looking to buy something it means this is my query in my head all right i'll go slow because there can be a video lag also when i am looking to buy an iphone 6 you know that's there in my head guys i will go ahead and submit that submit that query of mine into google search engine would you guys also do the same or will you do something else if you have to buy a phone uh, and right and if you have to consult if you have to uh, you know gather information about that same product on the internet then i possibly search engine is the most easiest way to get information otherwise the uh, if you talk in the offline world you can definitely ask your friends your colleagues your family members you can visit a shop uh, in a mall or something and then go ahead and uh, you know check for the product and ask for reviews over there this is another thing but if you have to check uh, for a particular in- information for a particular product on online you would take your query and submit that across on the internet once you submit that across this query guys in internet marketing language is called a keyword right what does it called so we have tanmay also joining in hi tanmay what is this called this query guys when which i am typing in the google search bar that is called a keyword all right thanks prabha once you post that across can you see uh, all these results which are coming over what would you do next if you have to buy iphone 6 you press that keyword into the search box and then you see a lot of results right up here what will you do with these what is the next step which is possible um which you know what is the possibility that you would go ahead and do that can i uh, get an answer get an answer from you so i'm looking for an answer to uh, okay we will we will check any one option that's right thanks prabha and which option would you the mostly the uppermost one right click on the relevant keywords click on the relevant search result what i will say santosh uh, these are the search results right so once you have posted in this keyword this is a keyword 
and these are search results guys this is the first search result second third fourth and like prabha said that we will click on any of any of these options and these options are called search results guys and you like prabha said mostly the uppermost one we probably might end up clicking on the amazon one which is on the top or the apple one or maybe the third which is the my spot price one or maybe the fourth one which would be the snap deal one right jasmeet says we will visit the site and get the info absolutely right jasmeet and what site would that be the like prabha has mentioned uh, the chances are that we would visit the top most site i think all of you agree to that you will visit to the top most site these top most sites which are there if you see the three top most search results i hope all of you have got that that this is a top most search result this is a top most search result then this is the second search result guys then my smart price is on the third search result and fourth one is the snap deal one which is uh, the search result all right so once you do that as a buyer as a buyer if you are looking to buy iphone 6 amazon is on the top the chances of you buying from amazon is very high because it's ranking on the top then chances of you buying from the second site second search result which is apple or the third and then on the fourth that diminishes you know amazon would be uh, would take the lead and amazon might get the sale in this kind of scenario if you guys want to be internet marketers right if you guys want to be internet marketers then you will always want your client or your website to be on the top right you can get your website on the top guys with the help of uh google adwords this is one of the product through which you can make your website rank on the top for a specific keyword by having your website appear as an ad can you see the first three search results guys are there with the help of this ad button the ad button the ad yellow uh icon is there the ad icon with the yellow these are the paid listings guys the top 3 ones are the paid listings when i say paid listings you always have to pay to google to get your website on the on to the top and the way you pay to google is on every click a uh, end customer will click on these uh, search ads you will have to always pay on every click let's say daily uh, you know five people are cl uh, clicking you know typing this keyword and getting this search result on the top all right those five people are clicking every time yeah those five people who are clicking over here you know uh, they are actually going to that website and amazon is paying to google for every click for those let's say one click was for 100 rupees one click was for 100 rupees and now google oh sorry amazon has ended up paying 500 rupees because 100 into 5 clicks is 500 rupees you get on the top of the search results whether it's amazon or apple or my smart price they are paying to google for being on the top and the way they paying is for every click they're not paying for by just placing their ad right makes sense and on the third one if you see the snap deal one the snap deal one is a, a non paid one does anybody of you understand the paid ads and the paid search listings and the non paid search listings right yeah that's what uh, we are talking about santosh says yes all right all right so these are the paid listings guys which is also called ppc ads pay per click ads
right and the one which you can see snapdeal or underneath snapdeal these are the seo listing guys when i say seo seo stands for search engine optimization over here you are not paying to google at all yes google adwords and ppc ads are same Go All right, guys. Are we clear on that part, Jasmeet, uh, Naveen? All right. So, Jasmeet, Naveen, you've got that. Uh, I believe Santosh, Prabha, you are also okay. Naveen, uh, okay. Naveen, you have already answered, right? So. Prabha, Guru Prasad, I believe uh, you, you've also understood the paid part and the non-paid part. Are you clear on that? Then I'll go ahead and explain more stuff to you. Yes, says Prabha. All right. Yes, says Guru Prasad. All right. Thanks, guys. So when I take this particular, so these are, you know, two ways through which one advertiser or one business person can get his or her website on the top. Either we get our website on the top by paying to Google or we get our website on the top with the help of SEO listings. Two ways. There are two ways to promote and get your website, get your website on the top. One is the paid way and the other way All right, so one is the paid way and the other one is the non-paid. So these are two different skill sets, guys. This is done, the paid ads are built by every business person with the help of one of the product called Google AdWords. Google AdWords is one of the product which Google provides to business owners or to advertisers who wants to run ads on the search engine page. And this AdWords, guys, is one of the product. We have various other products by Google, like Google Search Engine, Google Translate, Google Maps, or you have uh, Gmail, you have Google Drive. Can you name some more Google products, guys, which Google has given you? Google Analytics, right, Guru Prasad? Anything else? The Play Store, the Google Plus, absolutely right, Santosh, Guru Prasad. Jasmeet, can you think of any? Prabha, can you think of any other, Naveen? Any other product which Google provides? Google Voice Search, absolutely right, Jasmeet. All right. So, this is what we will be covering in our session, guys, in our entire program, in our entire course. How can we build ads, these search ads or the paid ads, for a particular website, what are the overall, uh, you know, uh, measures, policies which Google has in order to get the website on the top, right? Makes sense, guys. Similarly, then you have uh, the search engine optimization. The search engine optimization over here. There are different skill sets to it. How to what do you you know how do you get your website on the top? Digital marketing comprises 70% of this stuff. If someone wants to promote their website, major budget is either spent on these ads, guys, or on these search engine optimization listings. Other way through which you can get uh, promote, you know, get your website promoted is with the help of banner ads. I hope most of you have seen banner ads, guys, on various other websites. The picture ads, you can say, or, you know, the moving animated ads, right? Right. Yes, says Prabha. Yes, says Guru Prasad. If you see, this is my website. If I will give you this URL, guys, to download the course curriculum from here, you can download the course curriculum from here. 
I can show you this is one of the ads which one put this particular website boontoon.com has placed how boontoon.com got onto my website I, we will be teaching you all that as well these are called display ads guys why are these called display ads because you are creating an image and then you placing across on the various other websites through which you can you know showcase a lot of stuff you can promote a lot of stuff make sense these are display ads guys so we will cover the search ads we will cover the display ads we will cover the search engine optimization stuff also on how that is being done across and then do you guys also get a lot of emailers in your uh, inbox which are promotional emailers can you help me in knowing what sort of emails have you received so far which really targets you and ask you to you know buy stuff or you know pro which are promotional emailers any company which you can think of which sends you quite a lot of emails emails from flipkart says santosh all right what else right thanks santosh says ptm all right navin guru prasad jasmeet prabha uh, navin says book my show right uh, guru prasad says amazon all right yeah jasmeet uh, do you come across any prabha do you come across any guru prasad says shop clues oh, absolutely right are you guys with me shah jasmeet and prabha are you guys listening all right yeah so prabha says mostly from most of the company we visits absolutely right and that is i'll tell you when we visit a particular website and that say from same website we get the advertisements that's called remarketing we'll be teaching that also prabha jasmeet do you also come across these uh, in in uh, you know emailers absolutely means we log in yeah whichever websites you log in they show you the ads right just me all right so when we subscribe the newsletter absolutely they send you across that so this is part of email marketing guys uh, what sort of emailers should we send across on which day on what time should the emailers be sent across there are many dynamics to it there are many policies to it we will be teaching you that as well why why are we trying to learn internet marketing why are we trying to learn how to make advertisements on uh, you know these search ads these banner ads the search engine optimization and i'll talk about remarketing also why are we trying to do this i first of all want to understand from each one of you navin guru prasad jasmeet prabha santosh what is the reason behind doing that what, uh, behind learning this stuff what is your purpose for learning this why should i teach you what what is your objective which i can help you meet i know i have taken your introduction but uh, i am just trying to connect do you guys want to work with an internet marketing agency do you guys want to work in the marketing department of any company or do you want to work for yourself so guru prasad says to enter the digital marketing world all right got your point guru prasad uh, jasmeet prabha santosh navin Uh, if you guys can also help me in knowing that so navin also says would enter the, the digital marketing world yes to get its knowledge so once you get the knowledge you also want to get into that right you want to work for yourself prabha all right got your point uh makes sense so once you want to guys uh, you guys want to get into the digital marketing world either you want to start your own agency you want to work for any other agency it's very important for you to know all these dynamics in terms of how search ads are made how display ads are made how emailers should be made and sent across all right so just me it says to work under any other all right and santosh you want to start digital marketing campaigns for your company all right great so with all your uh, objectives guys i can surely help you and uh, we can definitely go ahead and meet all the objectives which you guys are talking about so with, with this particular uh, program we would start with so today it was it's just an overview guys we will get into the depth of depth of each and everything we will start with understanding what digital marketing is you know the overall overview then we'll study what type of websites are there so you know 
how do you so different type of websites and what sort of website would you uh, plan how would you plan a website and create it so i'll even showcase see you know uh, creating a website of yours even if you are not from a technical background guys so we would be giving you one free website also which is going to be absolutely your personal website let me give you an example of how your, your website is going to look like so i'll show you one of the website which is of one of my student only so with when i say a free website i will give you a domain hosting and also a, a wordpress theme all in all this kind of websites are actually some for somewhere close to you know 15 to 18000 rupees that's the cost but we will be giving you for free if you can see these are sort of an online resume sites you can do search engine optimization for your website using this uh you can also run advertisements for the website which we will be giving you for free and you can also run display ads remarketing which i'm going to talk about you can see this particular uh, student of mine has entered everything in terms of the skill sets she has whether you know she got the uh, seo google adwords on page all the other stuff her overall whatever she has covered so far you know whatever she has learned the education stuff her projects her overall uh, you know contact details and all that you can even call her and ask her for taking references in case you guys want references of how we have uh, you know the kind what students are talking about digital marketing patshala guys you can surely uh, write for just write digital marketing patshala on google and then you can see almost somewhere close to 75 reviews uh, you know and these are all uh, what do you say real reviews guys we haven't forced anyone to uh, write something uh, which we want that's their personal opinion which they have shared you can contact any one of them and then take uh, reviews from them all right so coming back to the overall course curriculum guys we will start with digital marketing overview website planning and creation then we'll start then we'll move on to search engine optimization like i told you search engine optimization is the way through which you get the non paid listing up you right how you get your website on the top of the search engine results without paying google then we will talk about guys ppc advertising which is through google adwords only these two topics are going to be the major time takers guys search engine optimization and ppc advertising these will be absolutely these will be practical classes where you would be doing working on your own websites i will give you assignments and i'll give you uh, you know uh, work to do in terms of your website first your personal website which i'll give you the keyword analysis the search engine optimization the overall ppc creation would need to be done across by you on your website so that you're not working on any client's website and doing any blunder on that once you get your hands dirty with your website then you can jump on and work on different other websites guys if you will have good results to show with your website then definitely clients or uh, or any in wherever you will go for interview they will value that right and in case you perform well with my particular agency which is your creation i can and i get the confidence i can give you my clients work also to get much more experience guys and that has happened with various students of mine not every student because every student is not same right so if you do a lot of good work i can give you live projects to work on and uh, but you have to really show that potential that yes you have that once we are done with seo and ppc guys we will talk about google analytics google analytics is one another product guys which google provides to just digital marketers to understand the traffic on the website how much traffic is coming onto the website from which place how for how much how long they have been on my website whether they are from you know madhya pradesh or from uttar pradesh or from uh, delhi or from mumbai or from 
uh, Bangalore or from uh, you know Ludhiana or from which other place it's uh, it's like every information you get to know about that with the help of Google Analytics make sense guys I'll show you how do you configure that how do you conf uh, configure Google Analytics for your website and start and what all things you should look on Google Analytics as a internet marketer once we are done with that we'll start on with social media marketing where we learn about YouTube Pinterest Facebook marketing and advertising so you know the Facebook ads which are being created then we'll also talk about the Twitter stuff and then after that that's being done with respect to social media it's very important for every internet marketer to know how to use these platforms for promotion of certain products and services once that's being done then you can uh, we would be jumping onto the email marketing which we have already spoken about what are the right ways to create emails what are the right tools how to create you know a contact list from where will we get the email IDs from where are we going to get the content for our emailers at what time should we send it when we have sent the emailer how do we judge whether it was a successful campaign or a non-successful campaign what all techniques should we look into our email campaigns that all is going to be a part of it then online advertising falls into the display advertising which I already spoken about we'll also cover the e-commerce marketing lead generation for business mobile web affiliate adsense and blogging creating digital marketing strategy and making money as a freelancer so I'm not getting into the depth of that at present guys but all in all I hope you understand what we mean by e-commerce e-commerce sites are those sites where we can do a money transaction and buy stuff when I say lead generation lead generation means you are running a, a promotional exercise your promotional campaign and you are collecting uh, responses from various people who want to uh, buy your product who can be your potential audience right who can be your uh, uh, you know actually you know who can buy your product then we have mobile web marketing where we'll teach you how to get advertisements up on the mobile sites and the mobile apps within mobile apps I hope most of you would have seen advertisements there on the top and on the, sometimes on the bottom right have you guys seen such kind of advertisements guys I hope most of you would have all right yes says Guru Prasad all right yes says Jasmeet Prabha all right then there is another thing guys called affiliate marketing uh, this is something like uh, let's say I give you an example if you guys become affiliate of Flipkart what will happen when you become affiliate you become a sort of a commission agent for them if they have a particular product let's say for 50,000 rupees they have listed an iPhone if you list the same product on your website you become an affiliate you get that sold across from your website then you earn a particular commission you are somehow helping you're somehow becoming a reseller or you're referring you know you're referring uh, any other person to the Flipkart site and that person who whom you have referred ends up buying the product then out of that 50,000 rupees maybe you might get a 5% commission for yourself absolutely right Guru Prasad promoting others product on behalf of yours for all these things guys it's very important that you are good with PPC and search engine optimization and along with I mean PPC search engine Google Analytics, social media, email, online advertising. I mean, the, the first section, if you talk about you know, the third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth, these are the major important ones. If you know all of them and if you try practicing for all these, then that's the way to climb up the ladder, guys. Then, then you can really make money out of other things. Then you can create leads. Then you can do uh, affiliate marketing also. There is other things, guys, called AdSense and blogging you can also make money with the help of AdSense now AdSense is another new product by Google where you are not uh, using it for promoting products but using it for placing ads allowing other websites to place ads on your website just to give you an example 
this is adsense which i have implemented on my website i have my website i am a publisher i am not an advertiser in this case i have got lot of uh, content right up on my website over here whenever someone comes on my website let's say you guys come on my website and you click on this ad i will get money because this is my website and on this my website this uh, you know google has placed ads now there is a particular chain to it how google adsense advert adwords work i will talk about this in detail in our next session i'll let you know when are we going to have the next session guys we'll talk about all these things step by step all right and then we will talk about how to create digital marketing strategy and how you can earn as a freelancer and these are two uh, uh, what do you say major important stuff guys we which we'll take after we are done with these and i'll show you live examples of how how do i do for my clients that's the most important part i don't want to give you uh, theoretical stuff theoretical stuff is something which you can even get from internet if you guys are looking for theoretical stuff let me tell you this is not the uh, channel for you to learn this is not the place where you should invest in your time and money because i i am a fan of uh, teaching with the help of uh, examples guys i always ask my students to create advertisements to create uh, to do search engine optimization for their personal website why i ask you to do it for your personal website which i will give it to you first of all you are promoting yourself whatever efforts you are making you're not neither making for me or for any other third party why should you work for free for someone you are making for yourself if you are making making efforts at least you are getting promoted right with one single thing you are achieving dual dual things another thing is if even if your website gets hurt at least it's your website not a live client's website you're not at a risk you can get your hands dirty so i'm i'm saying that again if you are looking for practical things guys practical working then only you will love and enjoy these sessions else uh, if you're looking just for knowledge sake for me to just keep uh, blabbering what exactly it is how do, how do you do it and you don't put any if you will not put efforts from your side then the results will never come out if you want roi from the money which you will invest on this course and the time which is the most precious thing on this course if you want return on investment then please make sure that you give in time once you are done with a, a one you know a class every week will happen which will happen any questions or queries you have we will be uh, having a, a new uh, just a sec i'll let you know the date when we are starting with the new course that's going to be from 27th on monday absolutely santosh i'll be giving everything in terms of the notes even the videos which you uh, you know these uh, sessions are getting recorded santosh and i'll give you the recorded videos also for these so that even once you once you are done with this course you will don't need, you don't need to uh, uh, think that you know you forgot something you can revise in that stuff by watching that video again and again all right so like i said guys i would be giving free website i do have certain uh, yes if uh, we'll get the same pdf all right uh, i can let you know from where can you get the same pdf if you go to this particular url within this when you click on the download course curriculum guys it will take you to another page submit your details and you can get the overall course curriculum downloaded there right guys make sense tanmoy any questions uh, santosh prabha prabha do you have any questions jasmeet 
Guru Prasad, I know you have already asked me questions and you have. Uh, just a sec, so August. All right, so okay, I wanted to ask you what time does it suit you? Weekdays or weekends are best for you. So weekdays we can have it like, you know, 7 to 9 p.m. or 7.30 to 9.30 p.m. on any day, whether it's Monday or Friday. So Guru, uh, Santosh, uh, guys, you can let me know 7.30 to 9.30 works for you in the evening. 7.30 to 9.30 on the weekdays evening works for you and would fr uh, Friday okay yeah in evening it's fine Santosh if you can let me know Guru Prasad would weekdays be fine with you so I'll give you both the options guys in terms of weekdays and weekends if we'll have in weekdays 8.30 to 10.30 okay Sunday or Saturday okay let's do it that case then I will make it uh, 5.30 to 7.30 on Saturdays would be fine so after okay Okay, so some days your office stretch up to 7.30, but Saturday would be fine with you Guru Prasad. Yes, SEO, I'll explain in detail. Do you want me to, you work till 5 p.m., okay. Okay, then let's keep it Sunday then guys. Uh, I'll try if, if I can start do 5.30 to 7.30 and from which Sunday would that be? Next to next Sunday, which is 26th. Let's keep it for 26th. 6 to 8, okay. Okay, I have another proposal. Sundays, uh, and Sunday I said uh, okay 6 to 8 then Saturdays is fine um, I'm sorry for the confusion let me ask the last time so Guru Prasad Saturday 6 to 8 just meet 6 to 8 Santosh Tanmoy on Saturdays is fine Oh, just meet for you, it's not. Okay. Mm. Okay, just meet. Uh, then how about Sunday then? Saturday, any other timing? Uh, just meet uh, in the evening. Okay, let's do it Sunday then. Let's do it Sunday 6 to 8 then. That's fine. Let's do Sunday 6 to 8 p.m. and we will begin, we will start on not 19th but the 26th one. Alright, Sunday 6 p.m. to 8 p.m. guys, July 26th. What I can do next Sunday in case, uh, alright not next Sunday, yeah, 26th, yeah 26th 6 to 8 p.m. I'll uh, ask. You guys can still come over and attend a session from the very first one and then uh, we can take it from there. Make sense? Whatever questions or queries you have, I'm sharing across my email address. And also my number in case you want to get in touch with me on WhatsApp. I believe uh, Guru Prasad, you are already uh, in touch with me on WhatsApp. Others uh, can also get in touch with me. Santosh. Just meet Tanmoy. In case you have any further queries, feel absolutely Tanmoy. We will take PPC also in that. 
uh, but there is no separate course which is just for PPC. Uh, the course charges, guys, is seven thousand five hundred for the entire course. Uh, feel free to add me, Tanmoy. Uh, I have shared my number. It's seven thousand five hundred, but as of now, we are giving it away. This is the last batch for which we are giving it for six thousand rupees. So that's the discounted price. And this is a three months course, guys. So we'll have uh, sessions on every Sunday and for three months where we'll cover all these things. And the uh, course fees total is 6,000 rupees, which is absolutely, uh, you know, a way to lesser price if you compare it with other people. When you compare it with other uh, sources, I'm giving you a free website and uh, I'm uh, also, I'll also try to give you certain Google AdWords coupon. I'm not giving you a promise on that, but if I'll give you, uh, okay, so Santosh, uh, there, uh, there are two installments which I can really let you do, which is 4,000 and 2,000. So 4,000 would be the initial one, Santosh, and 2,000 would be after one month. So that's how we have done it for others as well. Would that be fine? So Tanmay, uh, for PPC, we don't have a separate session. Uh, we, Since we are already uh, giving this away for a lower price, that's why you know we charge the full, full amount and it's up to you whether you want to just attend the PPC and don't come for the SEO sessions, that's up to you. But I would always recommend you, Tanmoy, if you know SEO and you still go ahead and listen to uh, my sessions or you might come up, come to know something really new. Maybe out of 10 things, eight things might be uh, known to you, but two things you might end up learning new Tanmoy. That can happen. Right? Make sense? All right. Thank you so much, guys. It's almost close to four o'clock, just four minutes to four. And you're working as SEO executive, all right. So you might learn some more advanced techniques from you, Tanmoy. So guys, feel free to add me on uh, WhatsApp. That's the best place through which you can connect with me. Just uh, ping me over there and feel free to ask me whatever questions you get. All right, and then we'll meet on July 26th, 6 p.m. to 8 p.m. All right. See you then. Thank you so much for be, uh, being part of today's session. I hope it was a valuable one and I'll try to make it valuable for others also, for, for other sessions. Uh, Santosh, on 19th, where are you based out of Santosh? Are you from Delhi? Because we are based out of Delhi. I'm based out of uh, Delhi in CR. Okay, so you're saying online, 19th, uh, 19th, actually, I've got certain plans uh, on the chat. All right, I, I got your point. I've got certain plans for 19th. That's why I want to start it from 26th, you know, 6 to 8. So it's I know it's a couple of weeks. But uh, till then, if you have certain questions, feel free to ask me. Right, I'll give you the st uh, stuff also in terms of uh, the overall, uh, you know, once you will make the payment, I'll get your website also made and I'll push across the uh, notes as well across to you. I'll share the uh, payment credentials also, guys. How, how do you need to pay? So I can give you the uh, bank details for, for that stuff. And in case you want to pay after the first session, that's also okay. So you guys can uh, go ahead and pay after 26th, which is not a problem. I would uh, still want you to uh, make a decision after the second session, guys. So it's okay. In case that's up to you. In case you want to pay before, that's okay. In after uh, all, otherwise, uh, feel free to attend the first session on 26th, and then you can go ahead and make the payment. Right? Makes sense. Tanmoy, Santosh, Jasmeet, Guru Prasad. All right. Thanks, Tanmoy. Feel free to get in touch with me on WhatsApp, uh, guys. Tanmoy, you can ping me. Santosh, Jasmeet, you can you can ping me on WhatsApp, guys. All right. All right. Thanks, Santosh. Thanks, uh, Tanmoy, and thanks, Jasmeet. Thank you, Guru Prasad. Take care. Have a nice day. Bye.